All right, welcome back to Autodesk Maya 2017. In this tutorial, we're going to basically uh, create a low poly mesh from a higher poly mesh, and then uh, we're basically going to eventually uh, UV unwrap it, and then we'll bake normal map. So uh, I have here this cement barrier here, and if I click off of it, you can see I have a wireframe unshaded here to show you the poly count on it. So I've uh, opened up the D display here. You can access that through display, heads up display, and then choose a poly count here. And just select the object and it will show up here. So I essentially have 19,470 verts for this object, uh, which is 19,472 19, faces, which is a lot. You know, it's uh, 38,944 tries, so triangles. So it's a lot of uh, geometry. We want to basically make a lower poly mesh from this object. So the first thing I want to do is name it and um, probably clean it up too. So just to make things a little easier. So on my custom shelf here, I have um, center pivot, freeze transformation, and delete history. Just to clean out all the channels here uh, in case there's anything on there. And uh, now I can rename it. So I'm just going to double click in here. And I'm going to call this um, barrier. Uh, barrier and then underscore uh, high for high poly okay and uh, what I'm going to do is hit uh, control D to duplicate and then this one I'm going to call barrier but I'm going to call it uh, low so this will be the low poly mesh so I'm going to hide the high poly mesh they're right on top of each other just by hitting uh, control H so I can do that and now the low is right there. So what I'm going to do is right now it has a smooth mesh preview on it. So if I hit number one, you'll see here uh, uh, you know, without any smoothing happening here. So what we need to do is essentially look at this piece of geometry here and decide, you know, anything that has to do with smoothing, uh, we need to eliminate. So for example, uh, we're not going to mirror this image. So these lines down the middle we can delete. So I can right click and go to uh, edge mode and I can double click and then if I hold the shift key I can double click and select extra lines and uh, extra edge loop lines and I'm basically selecting all three of these because if we look from the straight on view here in the profile if we delete these uh, what will happen is it might adjust this a little bit we're going to look at that and see here. Um, but I think if it if it moves slightly, it's not going to be too bad of a deal. I have the hotkey set up here for delete edge vertex. I believe it's under edit mesh. Yeah, there it is, delete edge vertex. So just make sure you just like that. And once you click on it, you can see it deleted. And they did move up quite a bit. So let's undo that uh, by hitting control Z. And what we may want to do is keep the middle one and delete the other two. So it's kind of a... a you know a determination it's like how important is that little edge there and if it's not that important you could delete it but um, so I'm going to just click out and I'm going to double click on that one and then hold shift key and double click on that one and I believe I can delete those two without too much of the geometry changing uh, let's just take a look in here and we'll maximize this and then I'll go ahead and click delete and you can see nothing has really changed so that one works fine so basically what I want to do is go through here and anywhere where I think uh, it won't change the profile like this smoothing edge here and this one here, I can just hit the G key which repeats the last action. Same with this one and this one and just hit the G key. And that adjusts the profile slightly but it's it's pretty slight. It's not too, uh, too specific. There's extra edge loop here, definitely want to get rid of. Uh, there's a lot down here, so I want to get rid of this one and this one I can get rid of, and that looks good. And then over here, in the middle here, I can double click on this edge loop, hit the G key, this edge loop, hit the G key. And so I'm just going through and deleting as much of the geometry as I can without changing the overall profile, basically. So that looks pretty good. If I did delete... Um, this edge loop we'd have issues and this edge loop here I think we could get rid of that one and I don't think it would change the profile much but let's see yeah it didn't change it so I think that's fine so um, next up so any of these edge loops if we did delete these so if I deleted this one it would drastically change the profile 
the silhouette of the shape here. So um, these you really can't delete. And if you look at it um, from any view here, and accidentally went to a view I didn't want to go, let's go back here. Um, so for example, this edge loop here doesn't go all the way around, but if I deleted it anyways, um, just by deleting it, you'll see it changes the profile quite a bit. So we can't do that. So I'm going to hit Control Z to undo that. Um, really important with these edge loops, you don't want to just hit the delete key because what happens is you get rid of the vert. So for example, I'll, I'll select this edge here and delete it. And you'll see uh, that it's just not going to delete the, the verts in between here if I undo that. Um, I'll double click on that and then just hit the delete key. Usually, so you can see here the separation and of this line, which means the verts are still there. So I'm going to undo that. Instead, uh, instead of you know just hitting the backspace or delete key, I'm going to again choose this delete edge vertex tool. So all of these I can delete. These won't change the profile. So again, I'm just going to hold shift on these and then delete those. Uh, same with these. Just double click, double click on all of these and then hit the G key and then uh, over here I can't delete that one because that's holding the, the the hole in place but all of these extra edge loops I can delete by just hitting the G key so um, that looks pretty good I don't think you can do much more if we delete this edge or this we change the profile so it's really important not to do that and we have to change the profile the other way so now let's uh, tackle the, the holes here. We can delete these outside edge loops and all these interior ones we could delete. So I could select that one, hold the shift key, and basically just go through and, and delete those. Again, just by hitting the G key, that won't change the profile at all. So that looks good. Double click there. G key on those, flip over here, and delete that one. Just got a few more to go here. You can see this process can take some time, um, but it is worth it in the end if you're going to you know, build a model for a game engine uh, because you don't want to have a high poly uh, model in there. And that looks pretty good. I don't know if we could change much else without changing the profile at this point. So let's right click, go to object mode selector object and you can see here tries were at 414 versus the high which uh, is quite a bit more if we um, unhide it by hitting uh, shift H and so you can see here if we select that one it's 39,000 versus the low which is 414 right now it's selecting both so it's showing before and after I mean what a huge difference that is in these guys so uh, basically now you could unwrap these and then bake in the normal maps and literally apply the textures from one to the other so it'd be pretty cool to do that so uh, this is uh, next tutorial we'll, we'll go through the process of unwrapping but basically at this point we have uh, if I move this out here you'll see we have the high poly and the low poly and they both look good um, I may at this point um, just for just to clean up the model, center pivot, freeze transformation, delete history, but it should be good uh, once I delete the history to get rid of the extra uh, nose there. And then uh, with this one, just bring it back uh, to the zero so it's centered, and then I can hide this one. Again, hit and shift uh, control H, and then I can, uh, in the next tutorial, we'll unwrap this uh, low poly mesh. And until then, see you soon in Autodesk Maya. Cheers!